Hello everyone, this is the Super Week Maker and today I'm making a video to talk about a new hairpiece that I did for a person who requested a new hairline. Um, this person has sent me this pattern of his hairline um, with the markings and everything and just because it it's just a flat piece of lace, it doesn't have to have any curves I didn't need to get his uh, head mold or anything to make this custom. As you can see, it has the measurements and everything. So what I did is that I transferred this um, this shape into a piece of paper. And right here, you can see that I am um, putting the the pins in the in the cardboard paper, so I can mark the hairline with some thread. You can see that I'm putting the thread all around and the reason that I do that is because I want to be able to have the the markings inside the, the lace. The next thing I did I did was to place this against some high contrast blue uh, background and it's just a head mold doesn't really matter because the curvature of this head doesn't really matter because this is a flat piece of lace as I said and then I just realized that it was better for me to have a darker contrast so I removed it and then repainted. it. Now this person has naturally, he says that he has naturally blonde hair. I don't know if it's that blonde because this is like a, almost like a platinum. And he said that he's dyeing his hair like a dark brown or something. So he wanted it to be blonde initially and then dyed darker so as to match his color. Also he has sent me a photo of his hairline and his hair and I, I could see and he also mentioned that his hair is kind of thick uh, what I mean is that he has dense hair the only problem is in the hairline I did spot it was a little thinner than what he wanted it to be so what I'm doing here I'm ventilating in uh, a very dense pattern I'm ventilating in 20 denier lace from Bamboo and Postage and I am ventilating one strand in every hole I'm ventilating the, ventilating the hair towards back, uh, but it's not 100% back, it's actually um, two directions. So the lace, uh, I'm going to show you, uh, sorry, the, the lace has, uh, the, the faces of the lace go sidewards, but I'm ventilating in the other hexagon uh, sides. So one row has hair ventilated backwards and a little right, and the other um, row has hair ventilated backwards and a little left so the reason that I do that is because I wanted to put a little bit of uh, of a fluffiness there because he, he wears his hair like that and I want this to have this multiple direction effect that it's going to blend with hair, his hair better um, I'm intentionally leaving a little bit of uh, lace in the front because I want to make the hairline uh, feather out it's not going to be too dense of course and as you have seen it has absolutely no seams whatsoever in the in the back of the of the of the piece I don't have any faults any seams or anything he's, he's gonna glue it down and what I wanted to tell him is that and to anyone who buys a piece from me that has the high definition super wig maker quality is that when I'm making single strand single knot ventilation and you glue your unit down you really want to make sure that when you want to take it off your head you put the, the glue remover first and then when it's um, uh, thinned out what you do is you grab the hair and you pull the piece upwards so right here you can see that I'm doing the hairline so this is how you need to do it you need to put to, to, to lift the thing by pulling the hair not the lace because otherwise the knots that are glued to your head will come undone from underneath so pull the hair I'm gonna show you a few photos and when I finish that I'm almost finishing the hairline now it's a little feathered this is uh, the hairline um, sorry this is the front part before I did the hairline you can see that it's quite uh, thick let me just uh, make some zoom in So I can show you real close how good how good quality it has. This is from a distance how um, the the whole piece which is finished looks. You can see that the front has a little bit of 
feathering I'm gonna zoom in here so you can see exactly how it is it's like half a centimeter wide the very front hairline you can just zoom in a little bit in this photo you see how long this is it's actually too long for his hair his hair is like shorter than mine but he said that he wants it to be of course when I make a piece I always make it longer than what the customer wants in order to be able to cut it and do whatever they want with it he's gonna glue it in his head first of all he's gonna dye then he's gonna glue it in his head and then he's gonna cut it to a hairdresser or whatever this photo has the back side you can see how thick it is in the back and this is me <laughs> putting it in my own head it actually uh, fits my own hairline as well I don't know I thought it was a small one but it actually fits my hair you can see how long it is you can see how natural it looks let me just show you a close-up photo this is the photo where it's close up um, yeah I still have left the thread and I told this to Danny that I'm gonna leave the thread there so when you want to cut the unit you know exactly where to cut you can see how nicely this melts in the head when he's going to dye this uh, hair he has to make sure that the knots are gonna stay intact from the dye because otherwise the knots might be a little bit more visible and it's a shame because this hair color is practically almost skin color so yeah take these two things that I told you don't dye the knots try not to dye them and when you glue the thing and you want to pull it up when you want to remove it please don't lift it through the lace grab the hair above it and start lifting by pulling the hair and when you, you want to clean the residue of the glue in the base do not under any way rub the knots this is going to make them loose and they're going to open up and eventually they will probably start shedding and you will have a total mess and it's a huge shame because this thing took me about uh, six to six and a half hours to make it was about a hundred euros for everything the hair the the lace the shipping cost because I actually uh, gifted him the hair I didn't make him pay for the hair so yeah uh, that's it thanks for watching and stay tuned for more videos